guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the Kelly O Show. And you know what? Today we are kicking it back old school. Uh, <laughs> I actually had to look down and remember what I was doing. Uh, the reason I'm saying we're kicking it back old school is today I am shooting a video kind of post-workout. And the only reason I say kind of is the truth is I didn't just finish my workout. Um, if you are somebody who has been tuned into my channel for a long time, you know that when I first started my channel way back in 2008, that's a long time ago, um, what I used to do is, um, shaking up my ketones, um, what I used to do is I would do my workout and I would put my camcorder, yes, my camcorder, um, up on the kitchen countertop and I would literally just shoot a vlog and just ramble about whatever was on my mind. <laughs> I would always call them my ramble on a thons and I would just upload it and I, you know, <laughs> if you do, if you look at the history of my YouTube channel, I would upload it and I would say, Kelly Alexa vlog, November 1st, night, you know, whatever it was, 2008. Kelly Alexa vlog, November 2nd, 2008. Kelly Alexa vlog. I mean, there was absolutely no purpose as far as, um, well, for those of you that are watching this, you don't need to know about this, but like, you know, when you, when you're putting content out now, there's, there's a way that you put content out so that people can find it that are looking for certain, for information. We're here to serve our audience and, and nobody would be necessarily looking for Kelly Alexa vlog, November 2nd, <laughs> 2010. I just laugh when I think about it back then, especially I laugh now because I've taken courses on things like matters like this. So, um, anyway, um, I am doing a vlog video today. Cheers, by the way, cheersing you with my exogenous ketones, which as you know, my last video was a review of these exogenous ketones that have changed my life. <sighs> That's also something that you guys that have been tuning into my channel for a long time are familiar with me drinking and going, I never realized how much people paid attention to that. But then people would, people would meet me in person and go, oh my God, Kelly, you always go. And I'm like, it was just always me taking a drink of my water or whatever, or my pre-workout in the middle of talking. And I'd always be like, Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the Kelly O Show. And you know what? Today we are kicking it back old school. Uh, <laughs> I actually had to look down and remember what I was doing. Uh, the reason I'm saying we're kicking it back old school is today I am shooting a video kind of post-workout. And the only reason I say kind of is the truth is I didn't just finish my workout. Um, if you are somebody who has been tuned into my channel for a long time, you know that when I first started my channel way back in 2008, that's a long time ago, um, what I used to do is, um, shaking up my ketones, um, what I used to do is I would do my workout and I would put my camcorder, yes, my camcorder, um, up on the kitchen countertop and I would literally just shoot a vlog and just ramble about whatever was on my mind. <laughs> I would always call them my ramble on thons and I would just upload it and I, you know, <laughs> if you do, if you look at the history of my YouTube channel, I would upload it and I would say, Kelly Alexa vlog, November 1st, night, you know, whatever it was, 2008. Kelly Alexa vlog, November 2nd, 2008. Kelly Alexa vlog. I mean, there was absolutely no purpose as far as, um, well, 
for those of you that are watching this, you don't need to know about this, but like, you know, when you, when you're putting content out now, there's, there's a way that you put content out so that people can find it that are looking for certain, for information. We're here to serve our audience and, and nobody would be necessarily looking for Kelly Alexa vlog, November 2nd, <laughs> 2010. I just laugh when I think about it back then, especially I laugh now because I've taken courses on things like matters like this. So, um, anyway, um, I am doing a vlog video today. Cheers, by the way. Cheersing you with my exogenous ketones, which as you know, my last video was a review of these exogenous ketones that have changed my life. <sighs> That's also something that you guys that have been tuning into my channel for a long time are familiar with. Me drinking and going, I never realized how much people paid attention to that. But then people would, people would meet me in person and go, oh my God, Kelly, you always go. And I'm like, it was just always me taking a drink of my water or whatever, or my pre-workout in the middle of talking. And I'd always be like, it really wasn't, it made this a little bit too weak. I put too much water in it. I just like it a little bit more flavorful. Anyway, I put just a little bit too much water in it. No big deal. Anyway, I will link up in case you're, uh, oh, I trimmed my bangs right before this video and uh, there's a little bit of hair in my eyes. But what I'm saying is, what I'm gonna do today in today's video is just use today, Friday, to bring you guys up to speed on where I'm at with weight loss because I really feel like I've gotten to the to a critical point in my fitness life, uh, which is I've almost, I can almost say like, which is wonderful, and you've probably seen it if you've seen most of my most recent videos that I've lost uh, most of the weight I've, I can almost say like, I've, I've hit the weight loss that I want. I might want to lose like another five pounds or so, you know, I can definitely see that there's some fat. I mean, you know, like, let's be honest, that's fat I should lose. And then there's some fat, just a little bit of fat on my belly. Um, so there's some fat I could, I could definitely lose and, and, um, but if I didn't, let me be clear, like I don't, I don't get up every day and go, oh my God, I feel like I just am needing to lose. I, I mean, I'm very happy with the size of my body. I mean, I haven't been this, this lean and small in a long time. I just definitely feel after having lost 36 inches and 30 pounds, I feel skinny fat. Um, and the reason for that is very clear. Uh, the, and, and I've talked to this point, you guys, in a lot of videos, it was not intentional, but during this keto weight loss transformation, primarily because of, um, a migraine situation I've been dealing with, I did, I hardly worked out at all. We're talking about where I'm at with my body, with my weight loss, and what my workout goals are because of where I'm at with my body and, and the fact that I feel kind of skinny fat. Um, but again, I, I, let me get back to that point. I lost all this weight with keto, hugely successful body transformation, lost 36 inches and 30 pounds. That's awesome, right? Um, however, the reason, just to give you a, a small explanation, the reason that I wasn't working out, you guys know I'm a fitness fanatic, I love working out. I didn't plan to not work out. I didn't go into this going, hey, I think I'm gonna go keto and not work out and see if I can lose weight without working out. That was never the plan, ever. Um, it, just, it just happened that way. I think it's interesting, excuse me, and I think that shows how significant what we eat is on, on fat loss. 
uh, particularly for women 40 plus with hormone issues and, and insulin issues in particular, and how significant of an impact keto can have on your, your weight loss and your fat loss. That's huge. Um, but I am not an advocate for, for um, pushing a no working out, no exercise lifestyle. I'm not that at all. Now, back to why was I not working out? Before I started keto, I was doing a reverse diet. I will link up below um, to the podcast I did explaining why I did a reverse diet, what a reverse diet is. Um, basically, a reverse diet is kind of what it says. It's the opposite of a diet. You're working your way out of a situation where you've been dieting for a long, long time. I was essentially dieting for 10 years nonstop. That's not good for your body. It's actually horrible for your body. And what happens is your body gets used to it and stops responding to dietary measures. Is that right? To dietary measures? Stops responding to diets, right? So you have to get your body used to higher calories. And also typically when you go on a reverse diet, sorry, I'm just paying attention to my dog, my puppy, he's home a little bit sick, so I'm keeping an eye on him. Um, you also typically, um, or at least I did with my trainer, um, you're, you're putting the brakes on your working out. And, and I did in this case because we were really trying to watch my adrenals and, and, and heal my adrenals because I had just been over dieting and over training for so long. I was in a state of near adrenal exhaustion and we needed to heal my body and get my body kind of back to a place of being a normal body so that going on a diet would actually work. So first I had to go on a reverse diet, eat more, work out less. So that was phase one where we cut out all cardio except for um, walking 10,000 steps a day. And then the only weight, the only thing I was allowed to do was, was like weight train four days a week. And then that was like slow weight training, not like any high intensity, you know, plyometrics, no, basically nothing like I'd been used to doing. None of the gym rat, high intensity, um, circuit training, plyo in between your workouts, any of that kind of stuff. It was like slow, isometric training, take it easy training, that kind of stuff. Then after doing that for a while, um, I also started testing out new workouts and I kind of, you know, based on the fact that I was told I wasn't allowed to do certain things, I started to test out things like Tracy Anderson workouts, which I used to make fun of in the past. And actually, once I tried them, I found out that they were tougher than I thought and I actually liked them. Um, I really just love it. So, then I, I found myself really liking the Tracy Anderson style workouts and I found myself doing that more than um, the other stuff. But then again, my migraine situation kind of came back. I was starting to see a therapist. I was diagnosed with PTSD. That's a whole other story. Um, but when I started to get migraines again, um, what happened is, when I would go to work at, that's the dog. What are you doing in there? He comes out like, oh, I don't know what you're talking about. Lay down, good boy. Um, when you get a migraine and you've had one like I do, and it's like a three day episode, you just know that an intense workout could potentially make you have a migraine again. So what happens is you become scared to work out. You become scared to, and it just becomes this self-perpetuating cycle. And that's what happened with me is um, 
I just became very used to not working out, which is very strange for me. And so this lifestyle of me not working out became just that. It became a lifestyle where my body and my, my brain became used to not working out. And then it became this mountain for me to climb mentally and physically to get myself back into working out, which is, again, very strange. You guys that, that have been following me for a while are probably going, Kelly Alexa was having a problem getting herself to work out. I mean, I used to work out two times a day. It was this, it was very strange. It really was because I would even be like outside of my body going, you, you really are like not going up to work out. What's your problem? I mean, I used to go on YouTube and just watch workout videos for pleasure. It was a very strange time, okay? So anyway, all during that time that I was losing weight with keto, I started keto June 1st of last year, I barely worked out. So um, I've lost cardio capacity, I've lost strength, I've definitely lost muscle, I have some underneath, but all that said, <laughs> um, I have wanted to get back into working out, um, I've needed to get back into working out. I want to do it for aesthetic purposes. I want to do it for, uh, longevity purposes, for health, uh, for strength, for, I mean, it's, it's good for, for every reason. And then truth be told you guys, um, I was getting ready to lay out with my dog out, out back yesterday and I was putting my bikini on and I, <laughs> I put my hand on my ass and I couldn't believe how soft it was. I was like, what happened to my, I don't want to say I had rock hard glutes. Like I wasn't that much of a swole bunny. I mean, I was swole, but I was not that swole. I wasn't like figure competitor swole. I wasn't Whitney Jones swole, but I was swole. I was a lot more swole than I am today. And I was like, no, we cannot keep this situation. <laughs> that was enough to fire me up to say, 100 day challenge starts today. And then the next 100 day challenge will be after that. And the next 100 day challenge, I have got to get back into a year of working out because this is enough. This booty is too soft. The, this fat under the triceps is not, uh-uh, nope no more. Um, sometimes all it takes is just a little, little bit, a little something, something. So that's, that's where I'm at, you guys. So here are my little notes that I'm going to go through. These are my goals and I, I'm going to, I'm going to be accountable to you guys every week. I will do a weekly video check-in with you guys and update you on whether I'm staying true to, um, to my Kelly, Kelly Swolex getting swole again. And, uh, let's see if you guys can, if you guys join me. And, uh, for those of you guys that are asking me who, who are coming over from YouTube to Instagram and asking me to flex, this is what, this is all I've got left right now for flexing, but we'll, we'll get better. Um, that's not a lot right now. My swole will get better. Um, so here's my goal. I did work out today, just so that you know, I did. Um, so it's Friday. Um, I did 30 minutes of a Kathy workout today. I did, I'm doing 30 minutes of a Kathy workout tomorrow. And then we start another week and I will do 45 minutes uh, every day next week. And I probably will stick to 45 minute workouts for about a month. Um, with keto, I have to be very careful because I'm not taking in the carbs and I don't have the carbs for energy that I, I had before. I have to be very careful. I can't do the, um, intensity and, and duration of the workouts that I used to do. So I will not be doing any workouts ever that are longer than an hour probably 45 minutes will be a sweet spot for me. Maybe I'll do some workouts that are an hour. I just have to see how I feel. Um, I do know several times, and I consulted with Kathy Friedrich on this several times over um, the last six months when I would do a workout and I would go right back into my old workouts and like I would do an hour long workout. 
um, I would get so depleted and I would get a headache and I would have, and sometimes it almost felt like I was getting a migraine. And that, that's why I would end up not be, I would kind of get scared to work out because I thought, oh, working out gives me a migraine. It's not that. It's that I didn't have the fuel for those workouts. And so going to a workout without the fuel and going and depleting myself, it was just too much. So there has to be a happy medium there, right? Okay. So one, my goal is to do one workout or a walk every day. Okay. So I'm not, I'm not going to get into overtraining ever again. Some days I might just do a 30 to 40 minute walk, um, you know, or like two walks with the dog and my, you know, taking the dogs for a walk, uh, dog with my husband. Um, every day I will record what I do on my Kathy calendar. Major focus on hydration. Um, I am, my blood work has come back from my doctor. I am pretty much anemic. I am low on vitamin B12 and vitamin D. I have to hydrate and I have to replenish my vitamin B and D and supplement. And I'm going to be doing videos on how to not only supplement, but also what foods are high and, and what foods I'm going to be focusing on to get my vitamin B12 and vitamin D up because, um, you know, some of these things are just not good. And I also actually ended up with a UTI because I have been so bad at hydration. And that's embarrassing. That's just stupid. Um, so I'm also, one of the things I got really bad at again was drinking soda. So I'm cutting out soda. Um, I'm focusing on two of my ketone drinks during the day. And then the rest of the day I'm drinking water. I'm allowing myself to have diet soda at night. So, um, for typically like when, when I have dinner and that's usually what I do really well with is, is just letting myself have like diet soda as a treat. And for those of you that want to judge me, judge me all you want. I'm never going to, I'm never going to totally give up diet soda. I'm okay with it. Um, I'm also making sure that I take my two supplements a day. One of the things that I've been bad at is I take my, my first dose of supplements and then I forget to take my second dose of supplements. So I'm going to make sure that I leave both of these out. It will annoy me that I leave it on the counter, but that will make sure that I take the second dose of supplements. Um, I'm going to do one new workout every day for a year. No repeats. It's a problem of mine that I just tend to do the same thing all the time. So I'm doing a new workout every day. And then my last goal is to work out before noon, to finish my workouts before noon every day. So that is my, my commitment to myself. I'm putting it out there. I'm sticking to it. I am going to, it's time to get swole. It's time to, you know, my, my big pet peeves right now, uh, are my booty feeling very soft. My, my other big pet peeve is this, um, for as much weight as I've lost and as small as I've gotten and happy with my body, this tricep left over. Oh, that, oh, that's gotta go. That's gotta go. So we're going to focus on that. Um, and uh, yeah, that's it. So um, if you guys want to join me in my challenge, uh, I used to think when I would see people online doing challenges that it was so cheesy, but I don't think it's cheesy anymore. Um, but I would love to know, you know, if you guys have any questions about my challenge or if you have questions about my, my keto transformation, I've got a whole keto playlist of like 18 videos I've done on everything keto. And on that note, let me close with a couple of things for you to keep in mind. Number one, I've got a, um, cause if you're listening to this and you're like, hot dang Kelly, 36 inches and 30 pounds. I've been watching you for a while and you couldn't lose weight forever. Now you got to tell me what you're doing. How do I get hooked up with that? How do I do what you did? Let me hook you up sister. Okay. Let me hook you up. Number one, I've got a free keto quick start guide. It's linked down below. So my free keto quick start guide is a free, just that keto quick start guide. I, I created it with just, it's like my story and I created it. It was, it was completed before I'd lost all the weight. So actually I need to update it. And I plan on doing that this weekend. Um, but it's got links to 
you know, a lot of like the favorite foods, several recipes that I, I use a lot, um, several best practices and tips that I recommend, some of the books that I've um, read, some of the favorite supplements and products that I use on a regular basis. Basically, like if you're kicking the tires for keto, here's a good way for you to get started and some of, again, my best tips and things that helped me. Um, so that's linked down below. Number two, I just released probably about month, month and a half ago, um, my keto cookbook. Now, when I say cookbook, my cookbook's different. I've bought a lot of cookbooks and never made anything out of any of them. I've bought cookbooks, meaning like going to Barnes and Noble and buying hardcover cookbooks, beautiful cookbooks that sit on the coffee table and have a lot of ingredients in them and I never make anything out of them. Why? Because they're too complicated. My cookbook is filled with the recipes that I make on a regular, and some of them I would say, I mean, yes, they're recipes, but some of them are more like meal ideas. Um, but these are all of the recipes that I made that, that and I still make on a regular basis for lunch and dinner. And there's breakfast, I, even though I do intermittent fasting and I don't tend to eat breakfast, there's meals for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then there's a meal plan. So there's a 30-day uh, meal plan in there as well because people asked for it. Um, so it's $27, it's ridiculously reasonable. So it's got 50, maybe 52 recipes in there. Uh, again, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, and then there's suggestions for if you're doing intermittent fasting and then if you're not doing intermittent fasting. I strongly recommend doing intermittent fasting because it means you have to worry less about counting your calories and it's a lot simpler and it's, it's, you will lose weight easier if you do intermittent fasting. Just trust me, do intermittent fasting with keto. It's just the easiest way to lose weight. It's what I teach all my clients. Everybody I've coached who works with me has done intermittent fasting with keto and they've all lost 25 pounds or more. Bam. And nobody struggles with it. You, you will adapt. Plus, if you, can do, if you can end up buying ketones from me, you will end up so changing your appetite that you will not struggle with, with intermittent fasting ever again. And you'll end up doing 24 hour fasts in addition to intermittent fasting. So my keto cookbook, like I said, 27 bucks, it's got 52 recipes. These are the recipes that, that I and my husband make on a regular basis. My husband is not keto, but these are the recipes that he and I make together and these are the recipes that I lost the weight on. Like, I, like we make the turkey taco bowl and now we've made it with beef too. We literally make that recipe every single week. Um, the gluten-free wings, we make that. Um, we just made that last weekend. Um, I'm trying to think of some of, some of the rest. Oh, the, the Thai chicken lettuce wraps. And see, that's the thing is that there's so much diversity in there. There's like uh, chicken Caesar salad. There's, there's salad recipes in there. There's wings, there's appetizers. There's so many breakfast recipes for people that want to, and breakfast, even if you're doing intermittent fasting, you can do breakfast for lunch. I mean, and there's new recipes that I'm going to add. I have a keto cheesecake recipe that I discovered that I'm, that I've tweaked. I'm still tweaking the, the crust. So I'm kind of like playing around and trying to find a different way because I don't like the crust. So I'm going to try to see if I can make up a crust and then I'm going to put that in there. And then uh, I need to ask permission if I can have low carb love, let me feature her um, keto pancake recipes. Oh my God, they're to die for. But anyway, so I'm going to link that down below. So I've got my Kelly's keto cookbook. So we've got my free keto quick start guide. Then we've got my Kelly's keto cookbook for 27 bucks. And then I'm going live on Monday with my five day, the first beta group, five day keto. Um, I can't even talk. I'm getting tired. I need, I need to eat something. Five day keto boot camp for women. This is a private online five day experience where I teach women basically how to do keto the way that I did it so that it can be a lifestyle so that you can, it's funny, I was just talking with a gal, she's gonna be in the group on Monday. I went to high school with her 
And she's like, one of the things she said to me when she was chatting with me is she's like, problem is I love wine and wine is not keto. And I said, I'm not going to say her name. I said, friend, do you not know that you can drink wine on, on this? You know, in, in my keto, you can drink wine. I drink wine every week. So there's so much that people don't know about keto. Like people will ask me, oh, I, I didn't know you could have chicken on keto. It's like people think keto is just burgers and hot dogs. And that's why so many people won't go keto because there's so many misconceptions about it. So they don't do it or they do it and they do it wrong and they hate it and they don't get results. So they stop. Let me just tell you my keto boot camp. If, if you watch this video and you catch me soon enough, you can join my beta group. It's 97 bucks. That's if you go next week, <sighs> my dog just came in. He's just panting right here on the floor. Um, after that, the price is going to go up to uh, 197. Um, if you see this video and you catch me, I might make you a special deal. Just ask me nicely and I will see what I can do for you. I've been known to be really nice and make people a special deal. Um, if they beg and plead, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, but also here's something else you should know. Here's something else you should know. Here's something else you should know. If you buy my cookbook for $27 in that cookbook, there is in the back, it'll say, guess what? Now that you've bought this cookbook, you can get 50% off your next digital product with kellyalexa.com. Guess what your next digital product with kellyalexa.com can be? The five day online keto boot camp. So pretty much, even if you miss this video, you go buy the cookbook, and then even if you, the, the boot camp is up to 197, you can still get it for $97. See where I'm going with that? I hooked you up, you guys. I am so good. I am so magnanimous. Just call me Queen Kelly. I gotta go. I got a lot to do. Bichon, my little baby. He came home sick from doggy daycare earlier. So we're kind of keeping an eye on him, but he's so cute. Can you guys see him? Hold on. You say hi, Bijan. Say hello. You say hello. Wait. Say hi. Such a good boy, aren't you? Aren't you? Aren't you a good boy? He's the cutest dog ever. Totally the cutest dog ever. And I totally was looking at the wrong part of the camera. I was looking over here. You guys are like. Hello. Like, I hope this was helpful for you guys. Um, I'm excited and I'm excited for you guys to watch me just get my swole on again. Uh, I'm motivated as hell and um, I'm excited about my keto boot camp. I've got a good group of women that's starting with us next week. 